welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to wire up the inputs and outputs on an ABB ACS 150 drive. For this particular installation, I will be wiring according to the ABB standard macro and for a PNP or source connection. It is strongly recommended that the wiring of your device should be done with an experienced technician to prevent any damage to the unit or the operator. The drive-in wires should not be live during the installation process and should be removed from any power source. The ABB ACS 150 labels all of the IOs and motor connections on the drive itself. The input power connection is on the left side for U1, V1, and W1. Here I can install my three-phase power. Next is my motor connection on the right side. I can install a wire for U2, V2, and W2. The label motor should be printed by the connections for clear indication. Next I will look at my I.O. strip above the input power connection. There is a switch above the terminal here for either a voltage or milliamp signal. I will make sure this is set to U since I will be installing a potentiometer that requires a voltage signal. Next I will connect my potentiometer with the wiper being placed on A1. The common should be installed on GND and my third wire will be installed at the 10 volt reference voltage here. For ease of use, I have already jumped all my push buttons together. This allows me to install the wire to only one connection. I will wire digital inputs one, two, three, four, and five to maintained switches. For demonstration purposes, I have different color conductors to show which switch is wired to a particular input. Then I will jump the GND and COM terminal. I will connect a wire to the 24 volt output terminal. With sourcing, this terminal will provide power to my connections. I will now apply power to the drive in order to test each connection. The first switch that was wired to DI1 is the start-stop switch. Turning this will initiate the run command, which will then need the voltage reference from the potentiometer that was installed earlier. The next switch was wired to DI2. This is the forward and reverse switch. I will turn it once to show that the motor goes into reverse and then change it back for the motor to go forward. The third and fourth switches are the constant speed selections that can be found in parameter group 12 under 1202, 1203, and 1204. By flipping the third switch, the motor will run at the output frequency programmed in 1202. I will then turn the switch off and turn switch 4 to initiate the constant speed programmed in parameter 1203. Flipping switch 3 while 4 is active will initiate the speed programmed in parameter 1204. To show the effect of the last digital input, I will switch off all the switches. DI5 selects between the parameters of 2202 and 2203 and the parameters 2205 and 2206 for the acceleration and deceleration. When I turn the switch here and then turn the start-stop switch, the motor will accelerate to speed defined in the parameters. I have set parameter 2205 for two minutes to demonstrate the difference a slow acceleration time has. For my last three IOs here, I will remove the drive from the power and take a closer look. These are for my relay outputs. I can use a pilot light to simulate a fault or stable indication. This will use the power supplied from the 24 volt output by jumping this to the common and then I can wire the normally open or normally closed connection. 
I can use two violet lights with a green light on the normally closed and a red light on the normally open connection. When a fault occurs, the contacts would change state and go from green to red. For programming the ABB ACS 150 drive, please check out our other videos from the annotations below. ABB's ACS 150 drives along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.